Hello. Okay. Can you hear me okay? I can. Okay, I'll turn that up a bit so I can hear you guys. All right. Oh, I love your um, background. Very nice. <laughs> and you're still not using them, are you? Well, here, <laughs> let me put one on here. Jeez. Hang on. I haven't added any new ones, but um, I like using... Oh, well, here, I'll add this one then. The hub. Very nice. I mean, the problem with... It's all backwards. I know, but the problem with the zoom, right? It's it, like that. It 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 needs to size. It doesn't size it exactly, right? There's always a bottom or. or... Could you two hold it down? You're damn noisy. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear you across the street. You. I am my junkie. Well, we're we're practicing mindfulness in a very loud way. Oh, <laughs> you guys are awesome. Oh, it's funny. Okay, I like. It. You might want to get some pictures of the the prairies and sort of like your your context. That's true. So, I, when, I when you do your mindfulness, like, have you ever thought of doing it with a background, like that's that's kind of like a Zen garden or like? Yeah, I know, but on Facebook, I don't know if I can do like a background like that. If you go, to, if you go, have you ever tried Streamyard? Yeah. StreamYard can stream to Facebook, but I'm not sure if you can change the background in StreamYard. I, mean, that's... I, I, I just do the, the free um, StreamYard, so it's probably just limited to the capability because I know with StreamYard, like you can do a countdown, you can have the music, you can, yeah, it, it's quite a bit, but I think you need the free one. So, I mean the paid one. Okay. So how have you been? Good. Yeah. Yeah, really good. It's freaking cold here. Like we're getting minus one tonight. Oh. Oh, we went from like 32 to minus one. Crazy. Okay. But yeah, otherwise, no, good. Um, yeah, I, I never complain about anything because I mean, it is what it is. And <laughs> I, I'm making the choices. So it's, yeah, it's all, it's all good. How's your inner landscape going? How's your, uh, how are the maps affecting your thinking? Well, that's a good question. So, um, I am really trying to, well, not really, but I do. I step back and do a bit more observation. And then I'm trying to learn, um, you know a bit more about the different personalities so um this week i'm really trying to learn about um the eight which is the challenger and how i can you know what kind of what kind of conversations they like and what they need for feedback to um not be so strong in in their personality and yeah just you know to gain trust or whatever yeah so i'm kind of studying that um this week and for values and for the flow um i'm really trying to not be such a i'm trying to be okay trying Let's reword that, sorry. I am stepping more into the power of, okay. I, I'm stopping everybody and redirecting and focusing them on a more of a target. So I am getting myself out, putting myself out there because um, I feel that is something that I can do for myself. Belief is stronger and yeah, just putting it out there. <laughs> you always laugh at me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't worry. I do it with everybody, but it's, uh, 
some people I I mean my, my partner she gets mad at me a lot because I'm always laughing and I, I just kind of see things like I mean it's funny too because you, your process is you go like this and then you'll start you know you're visualizing or you're you're, you're you know, well okay I'm gonna mean what I'm doing it's coming in <laughs> it's coming in <laughs> and so I kind of like waiting it's coming it's coming it's coming and then you kind of personalities, eh? Very. And I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking about the eight and I'm thinking about uh, Christy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking that the dynamics of the four and, and the, the Enneagram, you know, personalities and just, again, those dynamics, right, of what works in what context and, uh, and how to give feedback and how to stay within your own path and how to let someone be in their own path. But but find out how to work as a team, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, here we are. <laughs> so, you... what are we doing today? Me? No, yeah, how are you doing? You've been doing tons of videos. I, I was on last night and watched a few. Oh, really? Yeah, um, a, a few on, what do you call it, the secret mission or something like that? The very secret plan. The secret plan, yeah. No, awesome. You were watching, really. Yeah. And then um, I really liked, I found one video. Did you share it? It was um, how you displayed different, um, in, in different ways you went through like the inner you, the outer you, and then you had you brought in the choice map, you brought in, yeah, I, I, I liked that one. Because that was, I remember you making a comment saying uh, you wanted to learn more and then I put them underneath and that's that's the basis of the, the software system at some point. I mean, it's not creative, but it's the same as the conceptual system that you're learning, right? I mean, that's the, the map that basically puts the choice, the flow, the synergy and the harmony together on one screen. Yeah, so yeah, I, I watched that. I thought that was really cool. That was really good. And then this morning I had, um, we quickly went through like just a choice map, just as a, a sample. And um, I had a real visual of having say the choice map and then on, laid on top was the synergy map or the flow map. And then on top, and, had, and have that show my values in each of those and things like that. So yeah. So what do you think? What do you think of that? Have you ever seen anything like it? Like to have the whole platform, say, of my values and see how similar they are. Uh, you know, like cho choosing those values divinely and see how things match up and flow together yeah like I, i'm getting more and more visual so thank you for that <laughs> internally you mean your own sense of being able to visualize it and then maybe see information streaming through or just using the maps to change how you put your lenses and together sort of stuff yeah so i'm just seeing more clearly how all of those maps flow together and work together so oh, yeah, so thank you, right? It's just, it's, the wheels are turning. <laughs> I mean, one of the things is, you know, we get these conceptual maps and they're usually isolated, right? They're always by themselves. And, yeah. they're, and, they're, and all of these conceptual maps that we have are, you know, isolated. And so you have those, you know, hierarchy of needs, but then you might have uh, Edward de Bono's six thinking hats have oh i can't hear um can you hear me now so the seven habits of highly effective people stephen covey or the six thinking hats of edward de bono or the five uh levels of maslow's needs right like these are sort of big models they're right models but they're not connected no right so the idea of the inflow at some point 
is that there's a way to sort of integrate any other model. And that's, that's a little bit maybe down the road, but it's, it's just looking at what you're trying to do is create a unified conceptual system, right? Right. Where? Yeah. And so you're saying that the, um, say the seven habits or the others can integrate with say like a flow map. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah. Like I've actually done that one on the flow. I should, uh, that's a good one. Have you studied the seven habits of highly effective people? Um, I've read it, but I, that's about it. Mm. So you have read it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause again, it's kind of like that, that book is just filled with gems, but how much do we remember? Right. Yeah. No. And how much do we use and how much do we integrate within our own business systems? It's, it, it's quite a lot, right? So, so the idea is that you're creating this framework and did you uh, memorize the flow, the flow wheel yet? No, but I have it down there. Okay. So let's, let's try to sort of go through a process maybe of memorizing it. Um, so the primary triad, tell me what the primary triad is. Don't look at the sheet. Um, nine, three, and six. Okay. And what right. are the four main words? I mean, three main words. Um, I'm thinking it's agreement, job, and relationship. Do I have that right? Yeah, that's right. So okay. 2.3 jobs, 2.6 relationships, and 2.9 agreements. Okay, so now, how do you memorize things? Oh, geez, I haven't used that it, it has to be repetitive okay do you ever use pictures funny pictures money pictures is that what you said or what oh, funny pictures funny pictures no okay do you want to try something okay okay so 2.3 jobs so just imagine 2.3 right imagine a, a triangle in front of you yeah and then now look at 2.3 2.6 and 2.9, put numbers on there. Okay. Now, what's the color at 2.3? Oh, that I don't have. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Aquamarine. And what's the color at 2.6? I, I, I don't know. Pink. Pink. And what's the color at 2.9 is magne magneta. So what we're doing here, if you look at the map behind me, is the, the third wheel here, the lunar one. That's, okay. that's 2.3 jobs. 2.6 is pink at right. relationships. And then right in the middle is 2.9 at magneta. Oh, okay. okay. Because the flow wheel is basically putting one concept on top of each of these time cycles. Okay. Did you know that there was a connection between the time cycles and the flow map? Oh, I'm, I it doesn't surprise me. I think we kind of, did we go kind of through something like that? We might have, but. It, I might've mentioned it, but I mean, it's, this is something we got to get really tight with right now. Okay. okay. So. Now, can you imagine 2.3 teal and now a, and a lunar cycle and job? So think of having a job on the moon. What could be a job on the moon where you're wearing like a teal space shoot? Okay, yeah, picking rocks, I don't know. Okay, so let's say you're a surveyor on the moon and, you, and you're wearing a teal space shoot, space shoot. Right. That's a 2.3. So can you imagine that? Can you see that? Okay. Crazy, but yeah, okay. Okay. So now 2.6, imagine you have on the moon, there's an alien there and the alien's pink. And it's an hour. You spend an hour with the alien. 
Okay. Okay. And then you have this magneta pyramid, a massive magneta pyramid. Okay. And that's timelessness and agreements. So you in front of the pyramid and your teal they shoot with a pink alien are going to spend an hour making an agreement in front of this pyramid. Oh my gosh, okay. So, the pink wants to pink alien, and I'm going to go to the magenta pyramid, which is the top, which is lifetime or no timeless timelessness and i'm spending an hour with the pink alien okay right okay okay so now 2.3 what is the word john 2.6 what is the word hour um no, I just did pink. You you have a relationship with that alien. Oh, okay. So I missed that. So job relationship and agreement. And agreement. The pink okay. is, a, is an alien that you spend an hour with. So hours, pink is and relationship is hours. <clears throat> and then at the pyramid, the timeless pyramid, you make an agreement. So now look at your, you're bringing together the lunar cycle at job, the hourly cycle at relationship, and the timeless cycle at agreement. Okay. So yes, I would have to practice that a bit. Yeah. Now what's the, what's the synergy word at 3.3? Oh, shoot. Um, is it services? No, nope, that's 3.7. Shoot. So think about jobs and the, okay, the harmony, the harmony word is education. So what word links job to education? Is it research? No. That's a 3.1. 3.1. Okay. Okay, so, so it's learning. Oh, like okay. a new, new pair. It's like a human resources, but the new paradigm is just strictly learning. So okay. you're, you're learning jobs through education. Right. Yeah. So now if you go to 3.6 and you have synergy, the synergy of relationships. And at 3.9, there's stewardship yeah, of, okay. of agreements. Okay, so yeah, jobs learning, that makes sense. Relationships, and that was, shoot, I didn't write it down. Synergy. Oh, okay, that's synergy. Okay. And then stewardship is at 3.9. Right. So there's a vertical, there's a vertical conceptual connection, right, at the numbers. You're going from job to learning to education. Okay. Right? Yes. And let me see. Uh, okay. So, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Like, I, I totally get that. Say, um, the, the flow map and then the energy map or synergy and then the harmony, but I just don't know. You, have, the... you haven't memorized them all. And oh, so, no. That's why we're spending the time now to do this because it's really important to do so. Um, and I don't, do you see, you see this? Yeah. Have you seen that before? No. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about in terms of the vertical alignment of going okay. like, this is a 3.6. 
So you've got the, well, I mean, you've got the flow lens, you've got the synergy lens and above the synergy is the harmony lens. Right. And below it is the choice lens. So it's actually a language telescope. Actually, let me see if I can. Uh... Okay, so, but the choice maps are, are blank because we select our own choice lens, right? And what about like the, the flow lens has um, like jobs and relationships and agreements already on it yeah the synergy map is already labeled correct yeah, yeah. what about the harmony map yeah it's is already that labeled or is that pre-labeled it is so have you have you got the harmony map or have you not in front of me no okay let me just see if i can find it here There's something. Give me a second. Let me find something. Okay. Yeah, I can't say I've seen the harmony at all. My Joe probably have, but. Okay, um, okay, I want to show you something here. Okay, can you see that? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. So lifetime cycle. So this is this is like the life. Each color has a different cycle. So at at the research science field, you're looking at the whole lifetime. Let me. Um... Okay. Identities that we have on, but this is who I am. How could I let go of this? Right. So we have to go underneath and be like. Sorry. <laughs> um. Okay. So the inner right, right place, and then there's fields, research, and science. So I don't. So now this second up. What's that? Oh, okay. So this is the. This is more at, at the two, so economics, infrastructure, resources. And here, the choice, like the thing about the choice is you can place different models in it. The main model is, is, the, is, the, is the time cycles. So, but, but you can place, basically the idea is, as you said, you could put anything in there. But when I have another model that has the rights, like it has the right conditions, the right, you'll see. I'll show you another one here. Okay. Um, so these are all like, so 4.1, 3.1. So it's all that first field, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, like this is this is like going through the wheel, the choice wheel, the flow wheel, the synergy wheel, and the harmony wheel. And th these are the specific words at those, right? So now, as okay. opposed to looking down and seeing the wheels, now we're looking strictly through the, the lens is at each level. Right. You got okay. that? Yeah. So it's it's like it's it's a language telescope that you're you're training the mind to see through a conceptual lens at the at the community level, and then you go in and then you look at it from the organizational level, and then you look at it from the point of view of the individual level, right? And then you go inside the individual inside. So it's it's like training the mind to see through four conceptual levels. Okay, I, I, I like that. I, I, I really like how that flows. And so, yeah, community. So there's 20, so there's actually 20 of these. <laughs> um, so no, 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 shouldn't there be nine, but nine th there should, at four different levels? Yes, but the thing, the thing is the flow map is actually a little bit more than just the flow map. There's actually four of them. And there and there's an eight, there's an eight map. There's a nine map and there's an eight map. And they come Okay. So, okay, you break it down even further. Well, it's it's kind of like each 
what I found was as you add concepts, you keep on adding concepts and 20 seemed to be the number that was the main number. But so, but there was a relationship between nine and eight because nine and eight is 17. And then there's three more. But in, if you take a, a tetrahedron and then you put a tetrahedron at each of the four corners, okay. you then create another big tetrahedron. So it's 20 is the number of four plus 16. So 20 is a number where a tetrahedron comes back to itself as a whole system. So four, uh, four is a whole system. Yeah. Then you go four fours, create 16 at the corners. So now you have four tetrahedrons, which actually forms a, a bigger tetrahedron, which means 20 parts. So there's 20 amino acids. There's, there's 20 parts to the Mayan calendar in the time translator. Like there's a... Okay. There's 20 of these guys, right? On the time translator. Mm -hmm. So 20, like the numbers have significance. Meaning. Yeah. Because it's like here we have four levels. We don't have three levels. We don't have five levels. We have four levels. And then that corresponds to the four parts of the DNA. So whenever you have number, number creates the significance of the parts to themselves so there's a fiveness there's a sixness there's a sevenness there's an eightness there's a nineness and that number again dictates how the parts relate to one another and as you go from one to two to three to four that the level of complexity just keeps growing right like okay. yeah. four yeah. to five it's it's massive because there's a lot more relationships as soon as you go to five and you go to six and you go to seven because those seven have like relationships with all the others but then groups of others and so there's just more complexity obviously so yeah. in this the inflow matrix right we're using numbers to actually create the models so that you can have this linear integration if you have a system of five and you bring in another system of five there's generally going to be a correspondence to them so if you have five things and you can find let's say the five elements those five things will mo most likely connect into the five elements in some primary way. Okay. So, um, yeah. And the four connects to like, probably like the, like you say, the, the lunar and. No, the, yeah. well, the four in this system, the four is connecting into technology operations and activities. Okay. Right? Yeah. In 2.4. So, okay, so let's just go quick review. Um, 2.3 is what? Is job. What's the in, color? Sorry? What's the color? Oh, um, acrimine or, or teal. Yeah. Okay. And then pink, which is um, relationship. And that is the hourly in in the um in the time the time map yeah and then nine is the magenta which is agreement and it's timeless exactly perfect so that was a good analogy because yes, I'm totally picturing the whole thing and um, yeah, that, that helped totally. Okay, so okay. now let's do another couple of pairs. Uh, we'll do the present moment and minute to minute. So do you know where they are on the map? Um, number one is probably minute to minute. I'm just guessing. And you said the other one was present what moment. We, present moment. Present moment. Oh. Um, okay, do you see what I'm looking at right now? Yeah. Path flow. Path flow. See the colors? Okay. So the fl the flow is present moment and the path is minute to minute. Okay, so the flow is red. Yeah. And the Close. path is orange. The path is orange. And you, you might have strategy, like there's a, 
the thing is there's actually two two of these wheels there's two okay. nine wheels and so i've given you one and see what happened for me there was there, there's always a progression i'll get a certain map i'll have a certain pattern and then other words will come in that sort of like just have to be there okay. and and then you start to get these primary connections and you go well that's that's not nine concepts anymore that's 18 concepts how do those concepts relate and so then you're going okay well then there's an inner and there's an outer mm -hmm. so you're starting to think in these conceptual patternings like that's a polarity inner and outer and right. so okay if you're looking to design systems you're looking for the fundamental words that define the system so inner and outer right it just it's very fundamental uh, and that would be more at two at the choice where you have a polarity so inner and outer you know strong and weak all of the yin yang sort of polarities right so you can take this here and when you're and okay we need something to hash it in here okay so the present moment is in the flow like i mean the thing about this is the flow wheel right Right. Yeah. But, but you but you also have the flow concept. Now the flow concept is in the present moment. So most of the spiritual traditions and what you're saying about your mindfulness, right? That's the place of the present moment flow. So at right. some point, you're not thinking about any of these things. You don't want to think about all these things, but it's like you're creating an architecture that the information is going to flow through. And now you're learning the architecture, but at some point, you, you, the architecture will be sort of running itself in your mind. That's the idea is you, you, you created these values and the values are the channels for how you allow information to flow through these concepts, right? The values are the energy channels. The, the values are sort of like your connection to your higher intelligence. Yeah. And you're choosing which ones in again this universal model so here we have flow and path so path is minute to minute now path each one of these words breaks down into another map and so say that again each one of these words breaks down into another map so each of say the flow wheel those words break down into another map. Yes, like this is your main wheel in the whole system. So you right now, you have a job. Mm -hmm. You have relationships with, with yeah. the other partners. And you have an agreement, the beginning of an agreement, right? Right. Around, around what you're going to do. Okay, yeah. Okay. So that is the basis, what you're creating is an information system that can run any business like you can use this to understand any business and you can use this to design your own business so you can use this with your clients but it's you want to be using it yourself so you utilize it and then as you learn it you can teach it to other people right and and that's the key we need to put these maps in um more in use than what we are and that like uh, i need to get lori to bring her knowledge more forward because if we're doing a marketing hey i need her to so that that's a really good point to put across because if we're not using this we're not learning it yeah and i think that the you know it's sort of like, you know, I'm, I know I'm putting all these maps and start trying to build this thing. But again, it's kind of like if you don't have this one memorized, it's just again, you're just getting a bunch of information. You got some maps and fine. But it's it, the true power of this comes when each of you has this in your mind and you can go, hey, at 2.7 paths, it breaks down into these. And then for each of these, we want to have a different kind of course structure. Right. And here's another model I'll, I'll give you. OK, at 2.7. And I have, have you heard the path of suffering, path of awakening, path of healing? 
No, okay. I have not. Okay, so here's another model coming in. So at at the bottom is path of suffering. Okay, path of suffering. Where does this come from? So, so this this is my own stuff. I mean, my mine, but you know, the Buddha had eight foot full path. There's a lot of different models that have paths. Okay. And, you, and you could take the Buddhist, the Buddhist structure and put it in there if you wanted. You know, it's, there's so many different ways you can do this. But this is just one which I've noticed in terms of transformation of, of looking at people and all of them are, are sort of on a different path or at a different level and you know you have the seven step process right of start set up build right. up that's another process that's the universal process at seven but now what we're going to do is we're going to add levels of where people are at because you can't treat someone who's really suffering and having a hard time can't do anything you can't take them through the process in the same way as a very you know experienced entrepreneur who's got their shit together who wants some help to kind of go to the next level, right? They're two different customers. And so you need a methodology to ascertain where they're at. And so within, I did use this model within the survey. And so oh. it, that's probably where you first, you had a first brush with it, okay? So at the bottom is path of suffering. Okay. And this is basically, you know, someone who is in pain in their pain body is trapped by their shadow and they don't know how to get out. Like they, they might be trapped by an addiction. They might be right. trapped by, they're trapped in some manner, right? Where they're just suffering. I mean, Buddha said everything's suffering uh, because of attachment and maybe we're all in that category, but then you go to the path of awakening and that's where you have a kind of a shock or you, you have some way that changes the nature of your suffering where obviously you might have a teacher, you might go to a course, you might have an insight, you might have a psychedelic trip, you might have a uh, loss of your wife or, or husband or father, like something happens, which really shocks you out. And then you're awakened, you awaken to the beginning of your potential, you awaken to the beginning of, of maybe a new life. Uh, yeah, okay. And you may, but what happens is, is at some point you come in contact with the sort of the truth of your own inner trauma. And then you're on the path of healing where you have to go through whatever is the modality you choose to heal your childhood trauma and your shadow. Right, and that's still in the path of awakening. No, this is, this is, the, this is the next step after the path of awakening. Okay, so the next, the next one is the path of healing now, is that? Yes. Okay. Sorry. So, and again, the path of healing, you can kind of move in between these all the time in a sense, but we're sort of in a general one most, most of the time. Um, so when you're in your healing, it gets to a point where you sort of have to transcend your healing. You have to integrate the different parts within you and you go through some sort of transformation. So you, then you go to the path of transformation. And people in, in this situation are sort of like in a, they're not just healing, they are now dealing with a lot more all at the same time. That's forcing them to sort of step into their next step in evolution. Okay. And then you have the path of the archetype. And I'm sure this probably correlates to, you know, within the personality types for the Enneagram, they probably have a, they have a way of distinguishing these different levels, right? So this is somewhat similar. So like if by going from the unhealthy state to the healthy state kind of. Right, okay. So at the path of the archetype, you're, you're sort of like in your groove, you found your, your way you're doing, you know, kind of what you want to do, or you're, you're strong in your own ego identity. Like you've done some healing work, you've transformed to some degree. And now you reach a place where, you know, it's kind of like where most people, a lot of people are at, right? 
they don't think they got to do any work on themselves, but they're sort of, they're missing something in terms of the connection to the larger universe. And this is where the whole spiritual side uh, comes in, where the next path is path of surrender. So oh, you're, you're sort of giving up your sense of self to connect to something bigger. And that's, you know, the essence of most sort of spiritualities or religions in a sense. Mm -hmm. And then once you, 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 you're sort of giving up, letting go that ego identity, and then you go to the, t the top one, which is the path of service, where <clears throat> you are in sort of right relation to your, let's say, higher self or your soul or whatever, again, whichever your spiritual worldview is dictating, because, you know, every worldview has a different sort of language around this. And so right. yeah. trying to see is, is a language that kind of, I don't know if it fits for them all, but it, it's again, looking at the idea of a process and that people are different levels and that we're giving them a map <laughs> that at the beginning, if you ascertain a cane, like, okay, well, you're, sounds like you're at the, like a lot of people are the path of healing, right? They got to heal. They, they reach a point where they need healing. And so that's, again, that's, that's very different. If you're coming, having people come in for a mastermind and you'll see that two people at table are really into it and they're, you know, they're, they're gushing and they, they really want to let, you know, be open. And then three others, they're not, and they're more, Hey, what can we get done? I need help with this. I need help with like, people that are more action oriented versus people that are more interior motivated. Mm -hmm. And so again, like the masterminds you want to create, the teams you want to create are more like have like one for each level in a sense. Ah, so that's curious. So, um, because our, our quantum leap, I think right now will be some mastermind groups that we're going to create. So, because we need to create some income coming in. Yes. And, um, we actually went through all of the hub factors that we did. We kept all the question cards. Yeah. And we, did Lori tell you? No. Okay. And so we categorized them. So whether it was um, relationships, um, whether it was health, whether it was job or, you know, career, um, education and self growth and we had we had quite a few different categories and we categorized them all because there was like probably 25 to 30 questions if not more right and then we picked the four that had the most in their category so of course um there was self growth there was like all, like almost clear but a lot of people were okay what's my next step you know i want to leave my job and you know i don't know what to do so there there was that category and i think there was money and there was could have been relationships i'm not sure okay. so anyways we took those cards and then we broke down those cards even more so you know what in self growth were they looking for what in financial what in career and then we categorized what our mastermind um, groups would be like oh that's a good way of doing it yeah and so now we're just in the process of you know figuring out because we want to we, we figured um that we would each kind of select a book you know something to guide us along and you know, the fee would be like $80, which would include the book. And we would want at least 10 people in the first mastermind group. And so if we did that, you know, $80 times 10 is $800. And if we each did a group and, you know, get some income coming in, even just to pay the bill. Yeah. So that, that is our first, uh, I call it a quantum leap because I said we, we need we need a quantum leap. We're, we're stagnant. We're not um, doing anything to forward ourselves. So that is our next step. And we have a target, but I, I want to start in June 
And so I'm putting a target out there of, you know, June 15th, the 20th, whatever day it is. And we each pick one day out of the week and we do it weekly for five weeks. And then we, we do it again. Perfect. Just and repeat. Lovely. That's, yeah. I, I would, I would suggest, how much are you suggesting per, per session? $80. And, and there's, you get four sessions? Four or five, yeah. I, see. I know it's not a lot, but we wanted, you know, an intro yeah. thing to get started. No, I like it. Yeah, I would definitely, I would say four sessions, keep it short and sweet. And yeah. uh, I, I'd almost charge $100. Well, we're going to do this first. Okay. Right. And then, you know, once we get more um, experience and word of mouth and things like that, oh, yeah, we'll, we will do more. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be a month or five weeks. We're not sure. Okay. Okay. Maybe depending on the type of book as well. And um, what do you mean, book? Like, um, well, just to kind of guide us. So, um, Lori may use, you know, something about money. She may use the fear or love of, of money and go through that book, which brings in the personalities and things like that. And so using that book, her next mastermind may be on personalities. And then, you know, she may break down the, that mastermind. Okay, here's, you know, personality one or... So are you, are you going to use the, uh, the same process with the hub factor or is it going to be different? No, we're, we're, we're still bringing people in to the hub factor. Okay. As, no, I said